proportional meta-analysis in Jamuvi and generating a forest plot and a funnel plot. Proportional meta-analysis is a single group type of meta-analysis which is different from pairwise group meta-analysis. The proportional meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines results of different studies based on the effect size estimate which is uh, expressed in percentage or proportions or rate or frequency the proportional meta-analysis will calculate the pooled overall estimates of proportion or rate from several independent study addressing the same scientific medical or clinical research question so for the meta-analysis to be performed the proportional one the proportional meta-analysis the data have to be recorded in a format of proportion or percentage or um, rate so any binary data reported in percentage or rate or proportion can be included in the meta-analysis the this type of meta-analysis is commonly used for the analysis of prevalence and the incidence of conditions or diseases or disease in population or a group the proportional meta-analysis will also examine and assess the degree of variability and inconsistency among the results from uh, several independent studies by performing a heterogeneity test based on uh, Q statistics which is based on chi-square to look for differences or variation in the uh, results which is a measurement for heterogeneity and a value of i squared is generated which is represented in percentage and the zero percent indicates that there is no heterogeneity and the hundred percent indicates maximum heterogeneity the proportional meta-analysis also will generate a forest plot which is a graph that displays the uh, summary of the, the proportional meta-analysis which will include the uh, proportions the total number of uh, participants uh, the effect size which is proportion here the 95 percent confidence interval the weighted percentage uh, so the plot it consists of three part first part is descriptive statistics the second part is diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics and the third part which is the overall uh, estimate of the effect size with a p-value and a heterogeneity test uh, another plot that is produced from meta-analysis is a funnel plot that uh, test and assess the publication bias the plot is a scatter plot in which the effect size or the proportions are plotted on the x-axis and on the y-axis the um, standard error uh, is uh, plotted or the uh, sample size here in this Jamuvi data view, I had inserted 12 studies from the literature and the data extracted from the studies. Each study was looking at the incidence or the proportion of a specific condition in a certain group and the number of the events occurring were reported and the total number in the study of participants were also included here we have a 
type of data that is in a shape of or format of pro proportion or a percentage or a rate and it is only single group no comparison between control and uh, intervention or exposure so here we will use the proportional meta-analysis to combine all the data from those 12 studies and then to calculate an overall uh, um, or pooled proportions or rate and the way to do that in Jamovi is to click on the major package if you have not installed that install that from the modules here by clicking on the module and then Jamovi library and look for the major and install that click on major and then select the uh, meta analysis for proportions and you window will appear here for proportions move the study id into the study label and the proportion which is the events into the frequencies of the events and the sample size which is the total simultaneously few tables and graphs are generated uh, or plots as shown here um, by clicking on the model options we have here options to select from whether to stick with the uh, restricted maximum likelihood or hedges or decimonian uh, layered or any of these uh, um, uh, estimator and we'll stick with the first one and for the effect size the model will measure we could select the raw proportion log transform proportion or log transform proportion will keep the raw proportions um, confidence interval 95 percent and for the plot will um, keep the plot now and look at the tables generated here as shown from the two tables the first table shows that the random effect models was chosen and the total number of studies were 12 and the estimate of the effect size which is a proportion is calculated and found to be equal to 0.34 and a p-value is less than 0.05 and the 95 percent confidence interval with an upper limit and lower limit that contains the uh, pooled estimate uh, proportion so this data shows that this uh, proportion is statistically significant as confirmed by the p-value and the 95 percent confidence interval the next table shows the homogeneity or heterogeneity statistics heterogeneity test in which an i squared value is generated and a p-value is generated based on the q statistics which is a chi square the i squared value is nearly 70 percent which is very high so this indicate that there is high heterogeneity among the results uh, however the p-value here has to be higher than uh, 0.05 moving to the next section which is the forest plot drawing the forest plot there are certain uh, options to select from i will not perform any changes here we'll stick with the uh, default one as shown here from the plot uh, has uh, should have three sections the third section which is the overall and the heterogeneity is given in uh, separate tables in Jamovi and in the first set here is the studies ID from 1 to 12 and um, random effect model is selected and on the right hand side is the proportion calculated for each individual studies or the percentage uh, and for, and the 95% confidence interval for each study and also the overall proportion is also calculated with its 95% confidence interval for the upper and lower values the middle section here which is a diagrammatic representation of the effect size which is the proportion so each square here represent the uh, 
uh, proportion or, or the percentage or the rate for each individual study. There is a variation in the size of this square and that reflects the variation in the sample size. Larger sample size have larger squares uh, as shown here for this one and for this one is a small a square which indicates smaller sample size. The horizontal uh, line here represent the 95% confidence interval and the scale here uh, uh, range from 0.1 to 0.6. The diamond shaped here represent the overall calculated uh, proportion or pooled proportion. And uh, uh, if we scroll down here for the next section, which is for publication bias, publication bias can be assessed using uh, statistical method, or it can be assessed using a plot by drawing a funnel plot. And as shown here in the funnel plot, it is a shape of a funnel with an X axis and a Y axis on the X axis is the proportion for each individual study is uh, plotted and on the y axis is the standard error and in the line in the middle represent the pooled proportion and as shown here for uh, no bias um, uh, in publication the distribution of the effect size which is the proportion should be equally uh, distributed um, uh, on the right side and left side of the uh, middle line here so the number of uh, uh, proportion which is one two three four five uh, on the right hand side and then one two three four five on the left hand side and there is one outside here and one outside here this funnel plot will uh, validate whether there is a uh, publication bias and uh, another statistical test which is Eager's regression test required to be performed to validate whether there is a bias or not. So this is the way to perform proportional meta-analysis for uh, um, an outcome um, that is uh, uh, expressed in proportion or in percentage or rate uh, in Jamuvi uh, to ungenerate a forest plot and a funnel plot.